using an iron with you still. Hallelujah. You have laid up your, your hand upon me. Hallelujah. Do wonderful for me this knowledge. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My dear friends, we come here this morning to celebrate Easter Sunday, the resurrection of the Lord Jesus from the dead. Good defeated evil, light overcame darkness. We come here to give God thanks for redeeming us in Christ Jesus. Let us ask my this man for his grace that we may continue to stand still, to stand firm, to stay calm, and allow God to help us at this time as we pass through the divides, as you watch, as you walk me from your homes. My prayer today that the light of Christ that has shone in the world may scatter and destroy the darkness in our lives, even the darkness of coronavirus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you. My dear friends, to prepare ourselves worldly to celebrate these sacred mysteries, let us now call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever ready, and all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me, Lord God. And Almighty God, have mercy on us, may forgive us all our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of good will. We bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, we take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You sit at the right of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil, 
for God is with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us. The witnesses chosen by God in advance, who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of their sins through his name. The word of the Lord. Responsible song. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, His mercy endures forever. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The right hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die, but live, and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. The second reading. A reading of the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, if then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Think of what is above, not of what is on earth. For you have died, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, your life, appears, then you too will appear with him in glory. The word of the Lord. Thank you, God. Sequence. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems, Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw way faring. The tomb of Christ, who is living, the glory of, of, of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ, my hope, is arisen. To Galilee he goes before you. Christ, indeed, from death is risen. Our new life obtained. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Christ, our Paschal Lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us feast with joy in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and did all the other disciples whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord away from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciples went and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter, and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial cloth there, but did not go in. 
When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial cross there, and the cloth that had covered his head, not with the burial cloths, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciple also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he, he had to that he had to rise from the dead. The gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, as you sit in your living room or in the kitchen or wherever you are now watching me this morning on this bright day that the, the good, this good day that the Lord has given to us, this day of joy, this day we celebrate Easter, this day of hope, and this day of happiness. We come down here we have to celebrate Easter. Even though we are not here, but I know your spirits are here with me. Your pictures are in the pews representing each one of you. We thank God for this day that God has fulfilled his promises. His promises of a savior. He promises of salvation, his promises of hope, his promises that he will come to rescue us. When Adam and Eve fell, when they sinned in what we call original sin, God did not leave them hope in hopelessness. God gave them hope. God promised to the prophets, promised a Savior. A Savior who will come to restore us in that original innocence. God hoped for us. That original peace and harmony and tranquility that was God, God's promise to us. God in Christ fulfilled his promises. And Christ came and preached to us. He preached love to us. At the end, he showed us what love is by laying down his life for us on the altar of the cross, thereby fulfilling God's promise of a Savior. The death of Christ has reconciled us with God. The death of Christ has given us salvation. Now we can call God Abba, Father. Now we are at peace with God. The hymn we sing in the church, I am redeemed. Today we are redeemed. In Christ Jesus we have been redeemed. In Christ Jesus, we have been redeemed. God has fulfilled his promises. His promises that he will give us life. And we are going to have this life abundantly. And as we come here as redeemed people, we come here to share God's words and celebrate the sacrament. In the first reading today from Peter, after the apostles, chapter 10. Peter preached to the people. Remember Peter who ran away, who denied Jesus. The same Peter in the first day today preached Christ. Him crucified. Saying God that he was the promise of all. That in Christ Jesus, God has set us free. In the second reading, from another apostle, Paul, 
Paul will say to you and I, since we are redeemed in Christ Jesus, we should now look up to heaven. Where Christ has ascended, where Christ has come, and we, since we have been redeemed, we should imbibe the values of heaven, the virtues of heaven. Those values and virtues that will help us to live good lives here on earth. And for us to really experience honestly and sincerely the resurrection of Christ. We must imbibe those values of heaven. We must live the life of heaven even here on earth. We must love one another. We must cherish justice. We must cherish honesty. We must cherish truth. We must cherish hard work. We must know that before we enter into heaven, we too have to pass through our own Good Friday in order to resurrect on Easter Sunday. We must be ready and willing to live the life of heaven, to be at peace with one another. That is the message of Easter. Peace to the world. Peace to those who are ready and willing to go through their Good Fridays. In the Gospel, we listened to John speak to us. We met Mary of Magdala and the other Mary who ran very early in the morning to the tomb. Love led them to go to the tomb, to go there. They didn't go there to witness the resurrection. That was not in their mind. They went there to anoint the Lord. They went there to see the tomb. But when they got there, they discovered that the heavy stone that was rolled on the mouth of the tomb had been removed. And an angel spoke to them. And they ran to Peter and the other disciples to tell them that they have taken the body of the Lord away. Little did they know that God had fulfilled his promise, that the Christ will rise from the dead. That the Christ will rise from the dead. And if Christ has risen from the dead, he has given us hope. Hope that we too, if we carry our crosses, hope that we too, if we are ready and willing to go through our own Good Friday, to go through the pains of life, to go through even through this coronavirus, to go through this pain, to go through this lockdown, we can no longer do what we, we used to do. We can no longer socialize. We can no longer visit our families because of this monster. If we go through it with, like people, with people of hope, if we go through it like people that God has promised to redeem, if we go through it in hope, we too will rise on our own Easter Sunday like Jesus. My dear friends, I know we are all going through this monster now. Many questions in our head. When will this come to an end? When will we continue our normal way of life? When are we going, coming back to church to meet our church family? My dear friends, don't worry. We should know that nothing lasts forever. We should know that Trouble don't last always. That's the hymn we sing in church. Troubles don't last always. Evil has an expiring date. This too has an expiring date. All we need to do is to hang in there. Don't give up. Let us continue to pray for one another. Let us continue to pray for families and friends of those who have died because of this monster. Let us continue to pray for them that the good Lord may give the souls of those who have died peace in his kingdom. And that their families who are going through this pain, 
who are going through this pain of the monster, of the loss of their loved ones, may give them the hope they need, may give them the fortitude they need to go through this pain. Let us remember, my dear friends, that nothing lasts forever. Even this will pass away. But today, God has given us hope to rejoice. Even in our suffering, even in our pain, even as we go through this monster, we know that God is with us. We know that we are not alone. We know that God is with us and He will see us through. Let us ask Him for the grace we need. As we go through this phase in our lives, that soon and very soon we may come back to church. We may, we may begin to do our not go our normal ways of life. We may begin to socialize. We may begin to visit one another. We may begin to kiss one another. We may begin to shake one, one another's hands. We may begin to embrace one another and hug one another without being afraid. Let us know. That trouble don't last always.
the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Prayer for the faithful. My brothers and sisters, let us pray to God who raised Jesus from the dead as the resurrection and the life of all who believe. That God's church may always be a witness to our Lord's love, life-giving love, and mercy through our love and kindness to one another. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That people of all nations may bear witness and work toward the everlasting peace that is promised to all through the glory of the Paschal Mystery. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That those who are burdened by fear, sickness, anxiety, or loneliness may know the mercy and healing power of the risen Christ who brings them comfort and hope by our works. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That our public servants and health professionals who are fighting to limit the spread of the virus, searching for treatment, comforting those who are sick and their families, may bring the hope of the risen Christ to those steeped in despair. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. That the family of St. Benedict the Moor and St. Augustine, and especially those who wait to receive the sacrament of initiation into the church, may they embrace the joy of the risen body of Christ. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That, that the day joy of this day, when death was overcome by eternal life, may strengthen us to continue to glorify, honor, and serve the Lord on every Sunday. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died, and for the intention of this Mass, may they share the joy of our Savior's victory over death. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence, we pray for those needs in the hearts of all gathered to view this Mass today, which are known to you alone. God, through the death and resurrection of your Son, you have given us hope of everlasting life. Give us strength and lift us up, lift up our hearts, that we may always be witnesses to the resurrection. We ask thee through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we receive the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual good. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with us. 
sacrifice, we offer you humble and contrite spirit. Exultant with past and gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, Lord. But on this day, above all, we love you yet more gloriously when Christ our, pastor, our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with pastoral joy, every Lamb, every people exhaust in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord. The open air shall full of your glory. Hosanna in the light. Blessed is your coming in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you bless and these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which you offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church, be pleased to grant her peace. God, unite and govern her throughout the whole world. Together with your servant Francis our Pope and Michael our Bishop and all those who will go into the truth hand on the Catholic and Apostolic faith. Remember all your servants. I pray for all my traditions, my family and my friends and all who are gathered here this morning whose faith and devotion are known to you alone. For they will offer you this sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves, and all who are there today, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and pay the above to you, the eternal God, living and true. 
celebrating the sacred day of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and our Lord Jesus Christ. And blessed Joseph as spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, Linus, Clinus, Clement, Sixtus, Callianus, Cyprian, Lawrence, Christophanus, John and Paul, Cosmos and Damien, and all their servants, we ask that through their memories and prayers, in all things we will be defended by your protection through Christ our Lord. Therefore, Lord, graciously accept the oblation of our service, that, that of your whole family, order our days in your peace, and command that we may be delivered from eternal redemption, and counted among the flock of those we have chosen. Therefore, Lord, we pray graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those who may have been pleased to give the, the new bed of water the Holy Spirit, granting them forgiveness of all their sins, and order our days in your peace, and command that we may be delivered from eternal redemption, and coming among the flock of those we have chosen. Be pleased with all we pray to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it will become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven, to you, O God, his Almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to the disciples, saying, Tell us, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more, giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Tell us, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for me, for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your name to all until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ, your only Son, our Lord. We, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us this pure victory, this holy victory, this spotless victory, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of the life of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with serene and kindly contents, and to accept them as ones we are pleased to accept the gifts of your servant, Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest, Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, spot, a, a spotless victory. In humble prayer, we ask the Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel, to your altar in heaven, 
in the site of their divine majesty. So that all of us who through this participation at the altar receive the most holy body and blood of their son may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing through Christ our Lord. Remember also Lord your servants, especially your servant grace in you, who have gone before us, mark the sign of faith and, and rest in the seed of Christ. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your, with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, and Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us to beseech you into the company, not weighing our merits, but grant us your pardon through Christ our Lord, through whom you, you continue to make all these gifts, all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them. Us. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Are the Savior's command and found by divine teaching will dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and save from all distress and anxiety, as we are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles and to us, Peace I give you. My peace I give you. Look not on our individual sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. You will live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And let us now offer you the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should end on my roof, but only said I walk and my soul shall be healed. Spiritual Holy Communion Prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive your 
receiving the sacramental, come at last spiritually to my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.